Uh, we're here in Carton House in the snooker room with Ireland Centre Keith Earls. Keith, first of all, congratulations on the new family. How, is, how does it feel to be a dad? Yeah, it's, um, it's good. As you know, yourself being a father, it's, it's the best feeling in the world. You know, um, um, different experience, so obviously. She's, um, everything revolves around her now, and myself and my partner so have, to, have to suffer, but it's great. I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, Saturday is going to be your first game in five weeks. That must be, that must be hard. You know, I mean, you're just dying to play rugby at this stage. Yeah, it is, unfortunately, f family reasons, and in the, the game being called off, I, I didn't get to play, you know. Northampton was my last game, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm it's not like my fitness is, is is down, but I still have been training and uh, I, I feel sharp on the pitch, so I can't wait to get out there. From your point of view, though, does it, does it matter what number is on the back of the jersey, so long as it's a green jersey that you're pulling on? No, it's just just as long as it's a green jersey. You know, I've played in a lot of positions for Lynn now, but um, Sometimes it doesn't go go good for me when I'm switching positions. You know, my my last game for Ireland was my probably my worst game in the in the quarter final. But I just want to get back out there now and show show the the Irish fans that I'm capable of taking over the number 13 jersey. And just looking ahead specifically to Italy, uh, you played against them in the Rugby World Cup and you scored two tries. One of them a very memorable one. Um, have you seen the Photoshop versions of, of your dive uh, that, that have gone around the internet? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a few of them. There was a few pictures sent back home, you know, but I can assure you if I, if I get the chance to score a try, I won't be doing, it, doing the big dive again. My, fa my father will be tearing strips out of me. And uh, just, just looking at Italy themselves, I mean, uh, you know, we, we, had a, we had a tough game against them last year and then, and then we, we, we did very well against them in the World Cup. Uh, how hard is it to play Italy? Yeah, they're, they're getting a lot better each year, you know, they're coming closer to teams and it's, a, it's always the most physical game of the campaign, you know, um, they have young players coming through as well, Hungary, you know, they've, they, they had the same team for a couple of years, but now they're, they're starting to breed some, some excellent players, but um, we just got to stick to our own game plan and, and try and wear them down, you know, you're not going to score three, four tries in, in the first half an hour, 40 minutes, you have to, you have to break them down. And uh, from a from an attacking point of view, what what are the, who are the key threats in the Italian team? Uh, you know, there's a, there's a few. You know, Burton at out half. He he likes to run a few things. Um, I played against Ben Venuti or what, whatever he pronounced his name at 13. You know, he plays for Treviso. Canali is still around, obviously, and uh, they've got um, two quick wingers and the, the player of campaign last year, Messi, a full back. You know, they're. They're a well-established team now and established players and it's not just the likes of Paris that's stepping up from anymore, they're all stepping up. And uh, finally, you have four games in a row. Um, is, is that a, a different kind of a challenge from, from an Ireland perspective or is it a bit like you, you adopt the World Cup mentality where it's game after game after game, week in, week out? I suppose you can take some bad and good things out of it, you know, and the fact playing four physical games in a row, your body, you know, it's all about keeping the injury list low, but um, hopefully get a win this weekend and keep our momentum going, you know, it could be a good thing for us. Keith, good luck on Saturday. Thanks Cheers. very much. Thanks.